What is up, Cratics? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles. Never got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. As always, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you want to see me customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Mammoth Patriot. So this SUV is an OG vehicle that's been in the game since day one. It can be purchased from the Summer San Andreas website for $50,000, or of course you can get off the street for free. And for those of you who don't know, with the nightclub update in 2018, the Patriot actually received a few visual customization options, which is awesome. Now the Patriot name was first introduced in GTA 3, and it was also in Vice City, San Andreas, Liberty City Stories, Vice City Stories, Chinatown Wars, and GTA 4 as well, which is very similar to the one we have in GTA 5. Now, for the first five GTA titles I mentioned, the model is actually very similar to the Patriot Mill spec we received recently with the Contract DLC, so that's pretty cool there. Now in terms of performance, the Patriot is actually the slowest vehicle in the SUVs class alongside the Patriot Stretch. And honestly that's not surprising for such a heavy off-road vehicle. But anyways, in terms of what the Patriot is based on, it's primarily based on the infamous Hummer H2, which was known for being a pretty good off-roader but more well known for being awful in terms of its fuel economy because of its insane curb weight and V8 power plant. At the time when it originally released, the retro design was awesome, but honestly in my opinion, I don't think it's aged all that well. The original Hummer H1 will always be the legendary beast. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization of the Patriot. All right, mean? Patriot. Anything? Okay, we got armor, brakes, bumpers. So the stock bumper is like a, I guess, plastic or a matte black. And then secondary is linked to your, uh, well, secondary color, obviously. And then chrome. Okay. Um, I don't know. Oh, look at that. It also tints the reflectors, too. I didn't even notice that. That's pretty cool. Um, let's hold off on that for now, and the main reason for that is because of what I want to show you guys for the rear bumper. So we go to rear bumpers here, you can see the stock one is the Mammoth uh, logo there, very cool. On uh, the black, looks really good. And the main thing I want to see here is you can see it lines up really well with the rear quarter panels and the little kind of like um, lip there, the arches, lines up very well. Now, when we go to the second rear bumper option, which is the secondary colored rear bumper, it removes the Mammoth logo, but you might notice it's not uh, lining up there. And the reason for that, if we look on this side, you can see it's coming out to the right. So what does that mean? The bumper is off center. <laughs> I don't know how Rockstar mixed, missed this one. I mean, the bumper is literally off to the right. I don't see how they missed that. I mean, that's a uh, yikes. That's a big issue there. That's just completely awful. Um, yeah, and it's funny because I believe these options were added with a nightclub DLC as I mentioned earlier, so, I mean, they literally had the opportunity to make it right when they did this, because it was in a newer DLC, doesn't really make much sense to me, and the chrome option is also the same thing, off-center, yeah, very annoying, so for that reason I'm going to keep the uh, stock mammoth bumper there, I'm not having a off-center rear bumper. And that's the main reason I want to keep the front bumper stock as well, so that it matches. I don't want to have it a different color, and then it just doesn't match. And uh, yeah, it looks really weird. So, um, or you know, you know, what we could do maybe, maybe I could do this because I, I like the tinted reflectors. Maybe I can make my secondary color like matte black to make it match. Let's, let's, we'll try that and see how that works out. Okay, engine, exhaust, so. Stock, you have the side steps, and your exhaust comes out right here on the driver's side. Okay. And then you have the primary short exhaust on both sides there, and then you have the secondary short exhaust. 
Personally, I think that's a bit much. I don't think that looks right on a Hummer. It just <laughs> doesn't look right to me. And I wish there was an option to remove the sidestep. That would be really cool. I'm not sure if that option works. Yeah, it probably doesn't, where you can do a glitch and then take off the... Oh, it does! What? Oh my god, it does! <laughs> <laughs> well then, I guess it does work. Well, there you go. That's how you take off the side steps on a Patriot. That looks ten times better. Okay, so the, <laughs> so the way you do that um, is you just pick any of the upgrades and then you just go like this. Um, just hold down on the D-pad, just let it go through. And then you want to confirm it on the stock one, and there you go. You get it without it. Then you just buy the uh, stock one and you're done. But you have to buy a custom one first. But, yeah, okay, I guess that does work with that option. Sick. Yeah, I definitely like it a lot better without the sidestep. It looks, you know, more ground clearance and everything. It looks more aggressive. But I think we lost our exhaust. We don't have an exhaust anymore. It was on the driver's side. Now it's just gone. So, the imaginary exhaust system. <laughs> okay. Hood. You have the chrome sports hood. The secondary sports hood. And the lightweight sports hood. Um, Chrome, secondary... Or lightweight. I think lightweight is carbon or something. It's all blacked out. I, I like that. I like that a lot. That's pretty nice. I guess we'll do that. Um, continuing. I want to put a truck horn on this. I usually never put horns, but I mean it suits this pretty well. Lights. We'll do some xenons. Why not? Liveries. I forgot they put liveries on this as well. I mean they're not really exciting. They're just all the crazy different camos and stuff. Um, I'm not too fond of this. To me, it's just whatever. I'm. <laughs> Not my thing. I'd rather have some like actual liveries that have effort put into them. Um, a lot of these are used for gun running vehicles and stuff like that. So, yeah, not not my thing. There, I'm gonna skip out on that. Um, you know, if you wanted to do like a military livery, I, I guess it makes kind of sense. But anything else, not really. Um, and plus, you have the Patriot mil spec for that, anyways. Considering to the plate, uh, this is the Mammoth Patriot. So I'm gonna put. A very patriotic plate on it. We're gonna go with our America plate. Perfect. And a black background. Respray. Now, I absolutely love Hummers in yellow, so we're gonna go metallic uh, yellow on here. Go to the standard yellow. Love it. And uh, the pearlescent, I wanna go kind of light on it. I don't wanna put like a yellow because then it transfers to our bumper that we're trying to make. Uh, black, so I think maybe like a silver pearl, just to brighten it up a little bit. Actually, you know, it's bluish silver, my bad. There we go, regular silver. Secondary is the most random thing, it's your door handles. <laughs> it's like the, the strangest thing. And the interior stitching is linked to your primary color, so it's not that. It's literally just the door handles and then whether or not you have the, um, the bumper, so, options. So I think I'm gonna go matte black here. That doesn't, I mean, it matches pretty good. You know what? That's funny. The matte gray is closer. So with the uh, the skid plate down there. Okay. I guess we'll do the matte gray then. Yeah. I mean, my main goal was to have it look like the stock one, but uh, with the tinted reflectors there. So let's double check and see that back and forth. Oh, actually no. Okay. I guess the matte black will be closer. Okay. So let's do. <laughs> let's go back and just put the matte black. See how that looks. Uh, secondary mats black, and let's go back here to bumpers. I mean, it should be pretty close. Yeah, not bad. Close enough. All right, that's fine. Um, continuing to we did respray, so we're done with that. Roof mounted lights. You have the LED strip lights. I, I like that. It's pretty cool. I don't remember if it works on this vehicle. I know this was added with the nightclub update. Um, but yeah, we'll try it. We'll see if it works. Suspension, you could lower your off-road SUV. We're not going to do that. Transmission, turbo, wheels. So for this, I'm not going to go too off-roady. I mean, I would love to put one of the off-road wheels, but I don't know. That does look good. But I kind of want more like a street um, build for... That's tough. That's tough. Because I really like these, but I also like the street wheels. The ones I was going to put on it were these right here. Uh, where are they? The Sunrise. I think these look phenomenal on here. And if you're going to paint the spokes in black, and go here. I mean, it, it looks... I love the way that looks. The black with the chrome accents. Um, I think and it kind of matches our grill and all that. Looks really good. 
but of course then you can do the off-road let me go to the off-road uh that looks really good too but that's very like hardcore off-roading you know um i feel like this suits it more of like that early 2000s era <laughs> you know we'll, we'll stick to these wheels okay windows black amounts and that's all the options there okay well let's take our Hummer for a drive with no exhaust, <laughs> no side steps, and a rear bumper that's stock and it's not off center, so that's good. <laughs> nice. All right, it looks really good without the side step. I like it a lot more. All right, let's rev it. Wow, sounds really good. It's a V8, of course. Got the typical SUV interior, but you know this suits this very well. You know, early 2000s. This, this interior works pretty decently on the Patriot. All right, let's floor it. That's, uh, wow, it gets up and goes pretty good. That's that's not bad. That's actually pretty impressive. I was expecting it to be like really, really slow. I guess it's been a while since I've driven this thing. I mean, how fast that is. Now that I remember, I did use this for the street challenge meet. This is the one I used for that event in that car meet. Um. Yikes, the handling is just atrocious. <laughs> the handling's really bad. Their corner here. Oh my god, the brakes. Nobody's home. <laughs> Nobody's home. <laughs> brakes are home. I didn't expect them to be that bad. That is awful. What the heck? Brakes, brakes, brakes. Oh no. No, no, no. That is. That is terrible. My god. Yeah, the, <laughs> I guess that's the weak point of this. The handling and the brakes, because the straight line speed, at least to me, that's very acceptable. I mean, it, it goes pretty quick. The acceleration's surprisingly good, uh, considering what it is, and it's a street vehicle. I mean, <laughs> that's not bad. But the handling and the brakes, yikes. Look at all that understeer. Like, pure <laughs> understeer. That is... Yeah, I mean, as to be expected. Alright, let's uh, open all the doors and stuff. Why not? Little, 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 got some battle scars, you know? Oh, I forgot to check the lights for you guys. Let's do that. Lights. Aw, come on, Rockstar. Really? You're gonna. Come on. Man, you're gonna you're gonna put that as an option and then not make it work. And that was added with the nightclub update. You you could have made that work. Come on, that's that's lazy. Okay, we got a light bar for looks, just for, for style, is what it is, I guess. All right, vehicle doors. Let's see here. All. Ooh, look at that. It opens like the real one. I didn't even know that. That's cool. Sick. Yeah. So it opens. That that is awesome. Just like the real Hummer. What is that engine model? We got a V8 exhaust note with what? An inline four? What the heck is that? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's no um, huh? Yeah, interior. It's not. I mean, it's pretty acceptable considering what it is. Um, I love the way the hood opens, like the real one. But the engine model, yikes! Definitely keep that closed. That's the <laughs> doesn't need to be open. I mean, it's pretty quirky, um, and the acceleration, I mean, that is, that's surprising. You know what, let me do a handbrake launch, because I'm actually pretty impressed. Oh, look, there's another one. Well, not, not, now is when they want to spawn. I was looking for one earlier to record this video. I ended up buying it. I couldn't find any. And now after I'm done customizing it and <laughs> doing everything, now they start appearing everywhere. That's cool. Oh, look at that. Dude, th those are also one of the options you can find it with on the street, the bull bar. Um, but of course you have to find it on the street to get that, I believe. And there's also an option that has, like, the the fog lights on the roof, the round ones. Um, so, those are some of the street ones you can find with options. Um, but yeah, handbrake launch, let's try it. Well, that wasn't too good. That, I mean, for a heavy SUV, that's pretty good. It launches pretty well for a heavy SUV, I'm impressed. Very impressed, and from what I remember, it does off-road very well. Um, I mean, yeah, a pretty good street vehicle. I, I think it's worth owning. I mean, it looks cool. Obviously, 
Uh, the biggest elephant in the room here is the Patriot Millspec. I mean, it kind of makes any other Hummer-inspired vehicle in the game kind of like worthless, <laughs> not really worth owning. Now, maybe they're going to add the Hummer EV in the next DLC. I wouldn't doubt it. Um, but yeah, the uh, the Patriot Millspec is obviously the better option here. But if you want like the more modern one, of course you have an option here. And it does have some customization options, including an offset rear bumper. So that's awesome. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what vehicle from late 2015 only you want to see me customize next. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.